Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to episode of Pat T's Performance. Today in the driveway is this machine that is 110% ahead of its time. Don't mind me. Um, this is a Snapper NXT and I've seen this a few times for sale on the marketplace and honestly I avoided it like the plague. Now that the misses got down and dirty, I definitely welcome one of these, but with caution. What did you guys think of that video by Mainly Media? I mean, first and foremost, phenomenal job, phenomenal company. Had a great conversation with one of the gentlemen over there. Um, I wanted to take that advertisement video and put it in our video directly. Briggs & Stratton owns the rights. They have not even answered us. So we're just gonna progress with that. That's why I gave you guys the homework assignment to watch on the community post. If you did not watch that video, stop the video. There's gonna be a link in the description to the mainly editing video. Click that, watch that. Drop a little comment for them saying Pat Taste Performance sent you, and then come back here with us. We're just going to admire this lawnmower that's ahead of its time. Whew. So, do you want to start off with Mrs. Pat Tay's performance? Or, or we'll do Mrs. Pat Tay's performance last. Um, really appreciate your thoughts and prayers on that one bolt that she almost died. <laughs> <laughs> but no, she did, a, she did a great, great job. One of you guys asked about the battery, which is a great question. Now, don't quote me on this, I'm thinking out loud. Remember, this lawnmower was ahead of its time. The charger that came with this lawnmower is not a smart charger. In the sense that once the battery is fully charged, it'll shut down or go to a low voltage charge like a maintainer, this thing will just keep on charging full, full blast. And I don't know if you guys could see, this battery is bulged out. And that's what makes this battery junk, okay? How I ended up with this beautiful lawnmower. As you guys know, like a bum claw, I deleted a bunch of my content by mistake. I meant to clear the memory card for the camera and I cleared my external hard drive with my content. So this year, God bless, we've had eight mower garage sales. We just got done filming this week, our first ever snowblower garage sale. And I think we're gonna have another snowblower garage sale today. Fingers crossed. The missus does not like garage sales. The missus does not like selling stuff out of the house, period. Um, due to a couple of bad instances which we've covered in the first place. So, it is what it is, but they cracked my code and uh, we're gonna get it done. The first snowblower garage sale, they did not crack my code, but the guy wanted to look at two snowblowers we had for sale and uh, he got it done. So anyway, this gentleman here reached out to me and noticed that I have a couple lawnmowers for sale. And he mentioned that he had this lawnmower and it was giving him issues. This lawnmower ran and mowed no problem, according to him. But he was having trouble starting it through the electric start. He brought it to the actual small engine shop that I patronize because they're the only ones that like me. <laughs> they haven't kicked me out yet, okay? He bought it from them. Hurricane, this, these were considered, I'm going from what the guy told me, these are called Sandy Specials. I think these lawn mowers were around five, 600 bucks brand new. On San, during the Sandy, these were on sale for like two to 300 bucks. He bought two of these. One for him and one for his son. And that's why I have all these extra parts. His son's lawn mower died the same horrible death. And the son was done with it. The father decided to bring his lawnmower back to their pair shop and they said it's gonna be $125 to convert this machine to pull start. And he didn't wanna do that no more. 
So he reached out to me. They bought a pair of Toro personal paces from me. One smart stow and one non-smart stow. It's funny how things work full circle. The father, I mean the son, used to come here all the time and used to cause a problem with the, with the neighbors. Them, not them. He is actually a police officer. So he would stop by periodically in his car, in his uniform, and we would talk about snowblowers. He wanted to buy an Aryan snowblower from me. But he was good, he wanted to do his research, he wanted to get his old ducks lined up in a pond. My neighbors thought there was something fishy going on and they actually said something to us. So nonetheless, um, I haven't seen him since because he probably stopped about five or six times and then he never came back and he never got the snowblower. There is no hard feelings here. There is never no sort of embarrassment. He just blamed his wife, which is fine. It's, it's whatever. Um, and that's what he did when, I, when he jumped out of the car, looked at him, he looked at me and I'm like, I know you, you know me. So he apologized. I'm like, dude, there's, there's no way. It's okay. Like for your service, are you still looking for a snowblower? You know, we went through that conversation. So they took two Toro personal paces and I gave them a $50 credit for this, which is more than what I wanted to. But I figure the history between me and the sun and I wanted to get this lawnmower for you guys for the channel. No matter what this lawnmower needed, we were going to fix it because I always wanted to scope one of these out. To me, this is like the mower of unsolved mysteries for, for me. I don't like going on Google and doing my research for certain things. I like to see things, uh, I'm like hands on. I need to see, touch, feel, kickstart, you know, all this stuff. Because these have popped up for sale and in pieces, which is weird. You know, talking about blade adapters missing and, and pulleys and the blades are off. It just, it just doesn't make any sense. And uh, I've always shot away from them. The prices were just, were just never right. Now what I know now, I'm comfortable, and you guys should be comfortable too. I think this is Snapper's best miss. I didn't want one mower. Compatible, comparable to the iconic, the legendary Hivac. Where do you want to start? I know some of you guys are going to be like, <gasps> where do you want to start? Where do you want to start with this one mower? All right. Well, let me show you the, uh, the extras. I got two batteries, which both were no good. Spare air filter, pre-filter. Oh, and uh, here we go. This is the battery cover from the Hassan's look. The battery is, is bulged out. So this, this battery died, you know, the same, the same depth. Um, blade adapter. Check out these blades. I have never, ever, 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 ever seen a blade like this. And I am trying to break down the scientific reasoning of this blade and I can't. The only thing I could think of is if you look at swords of ancient warriors, I feel like this has a um, crusades-like, holy war-like feel to it. And I'm not referring the Christians, I am referring the Muslims. The, they are warriors from the Middle East. I don't know what they call them. But here is why. Look at this blade, how it comes up like an angle, and then has that sharp point at the end. Do you guys see that? I don't understand, <coughs> excuse me, the technology from it. Usually something like this, you know, you wanna jab. Nobody is jabbing your grass, but very, see this style here? This is very John Deere-like, which you've established that John Deere is made by Briggs and Stratton the ones that we've seen. So it's a pretty cool um, thing. This is a three in one. So you could bag, mulch, or side discharge. You have staggered size wheels. The fronts are smaller than the rear. And that is supposed to help you with turning. 
when you have oversized rear wheels, it's supposed to help you turn it. Not, not a tremendous difference like you see on some lawn mowers, but there is a difference and you will, and you should highlight in that ad. Do you guys know, even though I don't utilize this as much as I want to, but accuracy is very important to me when cutting grass, okay? This thing has a lever that we do all four wheels at the same time. I absolutely love that feature. Instead of adjusting all four and worrying if they're the same height, one lever does all four accurately in a timely and efficient manner. Built-in deck spat, it's kind of tucked up in here. This is a 22 inch deck where most machines are a 2021. This is a 22. Okay, do you want to talk about the self-propelled system? This is called the React drive system. That's what they, uh, that is Snapper's take on it or, or Briggs and Stratton. Okay. Remember what Mrs. Pat Taste Foreman says, one or two, we'll start the one mower. This activates the bail cable, which I think is pretty cool, but react. These handles move up and down. The firmer you push on the mower, the faster it will go, just like a personal pace. So you're gonna start it, you're gonna lock your hands in, hit the button or pull, and then just mow and go. This is rear wheel drive. Rear wheel drive um, is better for your mower in uneven and uphill terrain situation. Now, do you wanna to go to the motor? No, let's, let's stick up top. Oh, so as you guys see, Mrs. Pat Taste Performance did the pull start conversion, which came out great. Let me just see something. Oh, it doesn't even hit. Fantastic, we'll talk about that. Okay, it already had two holes here. So all I did was take, I, when I scrap mowers, I keep the rope pull cord handles and um, I just installed it there. And the pull cord fires right up. Um, from here, we have a great, a great, great, great throw distance like a normal lawn mower. Um, you know, there is, there is just, there is nothing to miss. There are no red flags. I believe if you have a key start lawn mower, you should have a pull start um, always as a backup. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful machine. The motor. If you guys are familiar with this channel, you know this motor is a sore subject for me. Okay, this is the, this is for its time, a very, very, very powerful, nice size lawnmower for this frame. They stuck this lawnmower on my 30 inch Time Master. I asked Mrs. Pat Taste Performance, why did you have my Time Master in the background? And she says that she was willing to take parts off the Time Master to make this work. <laughs> you, you know what. Um, I just think this machine has just, I, th I think this machine has great, good, solid bones. I did do some paint work on it. Troy built red from Rust-Oleum, came out well. Uh -oh, uh oh don't hit the Honda. Okay, and here, look at this. Look at this. What is the one thing, what is the one of the downsides with the Time Master, right? The gas tank and the cap. And look what this snapper has. Don't run away from me. It has a spin on cap. So this is a beautiful, beautiful machine. A lot of power for its frame ahead of its time. One of the things she did not go over, which I understand is Your charging port is right here. Okay, this is your safety key in and out, which basically is a fuse. So that sucks. If this blows, you have to get another, you have to get another key. Or you could just stick another fuse in there, but it won't be as fancy as this. One of the things she did not talk about, but Bill Martini and I did 
a little bit is check out this little computer module right here. Okay, I don't know how this works, but I'll tell you its functions. This takes a standard battery, like a watch battery. It senses vibration and it'll turn everything on. It has an hours meter for your trip and your total hours. We didn't have total hours. Okay, it's also a clock. Okay, see that here? It's going to tell you when to change your oil, when to change your spark plug, and air filter. It has a maintenance reminder. Okay, very, very cool. This is a separate unit. It just, you pull out this bottom screw here and it drops out and, and you're good to go. This mower, I'm not sure because she took it apart. If I took it apart, I would have stripped it down to the nitty gritty to see if there was an alternator in here. But I think there is because we have this power cord right here. You see this little, little white tab that I was tugging on? That could be your alternator feed to the battery, which is encased up here. Now, in that video with the Snapper NXT from Mainly Media, okay, they showed that one tractor. I absolutely love that one tractor. It's got a, Bri got a Briggs V-Twin in there, and what got me is, even though I hate technology because it's, sometimes it's complicated, that digital dash got me so, like a sucker, you know? Um, that deck height is, has a motor in it, I assume, because it's all electric. There is no lever like additional one tractor. Hit the button up and down, you raise the cutting height, and the computer shows you. Also shows you how much fuel you have which I guess is very, very important for a lot of you guys who cut lots of acres. Um, you know, some of you guys lose track of time and, and, and to see if you make sure you guys top off before you go. When you start your lawnmower, you look down at the, you look down at your smart board or whatever, the computer, your dash, it'll tell you how much fuel you have. Amazing. And it also says maintenance reminders, which is fantastic. So believe it or not, there are some companies that'll sell you a lawnmower to die Snapper had the best intentions of getting your best return on investment. They just shortchanged you without a pull cord. So I think she started it up, but did she? Um, I'm gonna say, let's put it to the spaces. All right, got a compression stroke. Yeah, this thing is, is one hand. Just a really, really beautiful lawnmower, for sure. Not as pretty. If we had the space, we'd definitely keep this. This is, to me, a part of, I don't know why, I feel funky about this. It's a part of lawnmower history. Alrighty, so why did Mrs. Pate's performance do this video instead of me? I had a I need to get something before I kneel. I had a little epiphany haiku. You guys know I do have um, a sense of humor. Um, some of you guys find it a lot to be desired. Some of you guys think it's funny. It is what it is, okay? I wanted to sit there and say that this lawnmower came from out of space. Um, <laughs> <laughs> because it has all these crazy, you know, features on there, okay? So the whole skit or the whole plan was, was that aliens came here and they abducted me from my driveway. And they took me up into outer space and they wanted me to fix their lawnmower for them because they couldn't figure it out. So... Um, I ended up fixing it for them and they didn't honor their deal and they didn't want to return me back to earth. So they sedated me and, and probed me. I remember growing up watching a lot of like alien stuff and they would probe people in the number two hole. 
and that's what they did to me. But what they didn't take into account is that I have a set of gabers. So uh, what they probed me with, I pulled out and I used it as a weapon and I fought my way through them. I took the lawnmower and I zapped myself home. The missus had no point to no part of that. I thought it was a great skit. I, I don't know, I don't know. She still thinks to this day that it's, no, no, no. Um, how she got involved, the missus runs our Amazon Prime. So I told her to order these alien costumes. She says, why? And then I explained to her and she just gave me one of those like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So that's that. Supercharged. So that's that. So tell me what you guys think. Um, for you guys that want to know this, model number is 7800696. Serial number is 201434 The other model number that they have is NXT 22875E. F C Briggs and Stratton model number 121 S 0721116 F1 serial number 110301 6234592 What I also found interesting I just realized this now this machine has a sticker says that this spark ignition system complies with Canadian standard ICES-002. Maybe Steve Small Engine Spoon or Bruce Prender could chime in and see what that is all about. Uh, nonetheless, a phenomenal one mower. Um, I hope you guys like this um, short little quick little video series on it. We do have this up for sale. The lady who wanted to buy it backed down well she just never responded she said she wanted to buy it we got it done and uh and that was it oh and another thing so what i'm thinking is that the reason why maybe the repair shop maybe said 125 for this repair okay that recoil housing was empty or hollow on the inside there was no cup no rope no nothing so maybe they said 125 and they'd have to order the pieces to make that hole. I don't know. But then also forget they have labor, they have overhead. But if you guys were to do this yourself, as you guys know, I think it was less than 20 bucks, 25 bucks, convert this thing to pull start. Definitely spend the money on a battery. I mean, I will never, I try not to pull on one mowers. This thing is a phenomenal, phenomenal machine. I hope you guys enjoyed this little chat and stroll as far as this mower goes. Is there anything I miss on this? Let me know. This thing does have your typical height adjustments right here. You have three levels of height adjustment. We're at the middle. Um, yeah. Oh, and it came with the mulch plug too. That's right. The mulch plug's in here. Oh, the mulch plug goes in here. No. 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 Come on. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Yeah. Mulch plug goes in there. Now we're mulching. I still think this is a sharp mower, guys. Changed my mind. If I was looking for a mower, this would definitely be on the contenders list. Pull start, key start, oversized motor, 22 inch frame, lever height, oversized rear wheels. This ninja like warrior blade. I'm sure you could probably find a nice gator blade if you choose to. Um, Curious behind the science on this, if you guys want to chime in on this. Blade number 7103288. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with us on this lovely Sunday. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Tell me what you guys think about the NX series line. If you own one, currently own one, had one, let me know. Um, good, bad, ugly. If you have the Snapper Lawn Tractor, gotta chime in on that too. I mean, that looks like a solid built unit for sure. Um, I think... That tractor was built by simplicity. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. Don't forget the Mrs. and I, we go live every Saturday, 8 a.m. Tony Eastern Time. Smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. Guess what? I'll see you guys on the next episode of Pat Taste Performance. Later. God, what a unit. Maybe I'll cut the front grass with this.